Have you ever had this reaction when looking at your electric bill? I've had that look more than once. And trying to figure out what electronics and behaviors are costing you the most each month is like groping around in the dark. But thankfully, there are some solutions that can help with that. Say hello to Sense. In my previous video, I talked about switching to a Ford Fusion Energy and my soon to arrive Tesla Model 3, both of which are big energy sinks. When I originally got the Ford, we saw a big jump in the electric bill, but we expected that. What we didn't expect was to get shamed each month on our bill, showing us how much more power we were using than our neighbors. That's when we started asking questions. Why is it so high? And this isn't just the car, but, but what could it possibly be? Whole home energy monitors, like the Sense, use two magnetic clamps that fit around the mains of your electric panel. They also get tied into a 240 volt breaker in the panel, which allows the device to read exactly how much energy is being used. And if you have solar, you can also add clamps to the lines coming off of your panels so you can factor energy generation into your mix. Since you're messing around with the mains and 240 volt breakers, you really should only install this if you're a licensed electrician or have a lot of experience working with electric panels in this way. If you have any doubts or if you're afraid of electrical work, don't even try this. Let's try the red one. Yes! Okay, I'll try the green. Yes! Since I valued my life, I thought it best to leave this installed to the professionals. And to save a little extra money, I had an electrician install this at the same time as he was installing a Tesla wall charger for me. If I had done the sense on its own, it probably would have cost me about $150 to $200, but because I bundled it together, he gave it to me for a little under $100 to install. If there's room, the sense box gets installed inside the electric panel itself and it has a Wi-Fi antenna that you can install through one of the holes of the panel. And once the 240 volt breaker is turned on, you'll hear a sense monitor chime and the boot up. You load the sense app onto your phone and follow the on-screen setup instructions. It's actually a pretty straightforward setup process and it's a very well designed experience. However, I ran into a snag that caused a lot of headaches when it came to my Wi-Fi password, which was 64 characters long. And yes, I know I'm a little nuts with that kind of a password but the Sense only handles passwords of 58 characters or less. And this isn't stated anywhere inside the app or online. And so there was a lot of back and forth trying to figure this out as to why it kept hanging on the connecting to Wi-Fi stage. I figured out the problem when I was able to get the Sense to connect to the guest Wi-Fi without any issue, which was a much shorter password. And while it was frustrating, it was ultimately an easy fix. At this point, the setup is basically done. You're told to wait for about 24 hours while the Sense calibrates itself. Before I dive into the features, I have to give you a word of advice with the Sense. Have patience. This thing takes a long time to detect the devices and give you insights into your usage. Sense collects unique energy patterns from the devices in your home to try to identify them and uses machine learning to match these patterns with other Sense users who have successfully identified something that's similar in their home. What this means is that over the first weeks and months of using the Sense, you'll get notifications of new devices being detected. It's actually pretty amazing that it can single out individual devices, but you'll notice that it often guesses the type of device incorrectly. This is where you come in and you have to do some sleuthing to verify the guess. And if it's wrong, enter the correct information. In my case, it marked our garbage disposal, microwave and refrigerator correctly, but it didn't get other things like our dehumidifier, air conditioning, and several elements on our stovetop correctly on the first go. If you give it permission, the Sense can also monitor your home network for recognizable network connected devices to aid in the identification process. I turned this on and it identified my Philips Hue bulbs as well as two of our LG TVs pretty quickly. The app interface is pretty and well designed. And if Sense hasn't identified something, it lumps it into an always on or other bucket. While it's not as useful, it's still enough to help you understand your energy usage and make some of your own guesses as to what's contributing to those by the process of elimination. In my case, I have a couple of computers and HEPA filters that are running 24 hours a day, so I know they're always in the always on bucket. You can enter your cost per kilowatt hour and your monthly electric bill schedule, as well as your desired monthly kilowatt hour goals. 
and the app will let you know if you're on target, if you're going way over. You can also see breakdowns for how much identified devices are costing you to run each month and year. You can also tie the sense into IFTTT, which means it can become another resource for your home automation setup. You can set up alerts if a specific device turns on or off while you're away from home. So you could get alerted if you left your stove on. You could have Philips Hue flash a light in your living room if your washing machine or dryer turns off. There's a lot of potential here. At $300 for the Sense and another $100 plus for professional installation, is it worth it? That's a little hard to answer because it really depends. I'd say for most people, no. For me, it's a resounding yes. Based on the data it's found, I've changed the way I'm running my computers, my gaming consoles, I've changed my heating and cooling settings to further reduce my costs. It's allowed me to experiment with making minor tweaks to our refrigerator settings and seeing if there's uh, discernible differences in the before and after changes. I'm still only two months in, but I'd estimate that I've saved about 10% of my energy costs each month so far. So is that enough to pay for the sense? Uh, no. It'll take several years to earn enough from savings to pay for itself, but that's not the only reason I got it. With the Tesla Model 3 incoming, my home energy use is going to spike again. And the sense is going to help me trim some more of the fat from my current usage and to try to set that off a bit. We're also getting solar panels installed very soon, so I'll be able to track solar panel generation within the same exact app to see how everything is balancing out. With knowledge comes power. Sorry, that was a really bad dad joke, but I think you get the point. But I'm no longer fumbling around in the dark, trying to understand what, where my power is going and how I'm using it. I know exactly where it's going and how to be more efficient with how it's being used, and in the end, saving money. What do you think? Are you using a home energy monitor like the Sense? There are a bunch of options out there from companies like Nurio, Curb, Ecoisme, and Engage. And there's also great open source projects available that you can read about at openenergymonitor.org. Uh, do any of you use any of those? And what do you think? Is this something you'd actually spend money on? If it is, hit the little like button below. If you haven't done so already, also consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.